welcome back to Interview with the Vampire. Here we are, the season finale. I'll be all caught up after this. And that's the end of it. There's nothing else. Again, if I don't see Louis get his revenge, I'm not watching any more of this. <laughs> I need to see him take out this entire coven. They've all got to go. My ankles healed in the coffin, the flesh having circled around the insulating rocks of my deathbed. Ugh. So he made certain I would not forget my insubordination as part of my penance. Well, all you had to do was do cleanup duty? Doesn't seem like that much of a punishment. I'm dragged off stage. And buried alive. Oh. Forced to remember all of it all over again and again and again. What was left to endure for? Claudia. Honestly, though, what's left? I placed a sacrifice in an old vault coffin. Swapped that coffin for Louis. Point of view is what I remember. I'm sure he had fun filming that. I knew my rage had risen. Damn straight. Ooh, I think I'm gonna get my wish. Please take them out. My rage had been... Unfortunately, he really needs some blood, so... Rage was light Sorry, dude. Sound. Sound. It really does look like he's losing it here. I wonder what brought him back from this. No. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but that was kind of funny. Uh, that's a bad night for you as well. No. no. I know you can hear me. You must leave Paris. Maybe you. Armand, shut up. I don't really want to hear it. Well, you. Maybe you shut up. Do not worry about me. I ain't fucking worried about you! For real. Not worried about you, Armand. Revenge is all there is right now. I think you would understand why it was. I acted as I did. I don't think so. I could not save her. If I thought there was a way, I would have... Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, just stop talking. If I'm not with him, I'm nothing. Him, I'm nothing. Yeah, okay. Where they slept, I could have been a marching band. The advantage was mine. some lookouts. Oh, sweet vengeance. Get out of my way. Burn. Burn, you pieces of shit. Die. Is that all there was? I was kind of hoping for a little bit more, to be honest. That meant four had escaped. Oh, four escaped. All right. Let's get the rest. Weakness, you idiot! Solid plan there, Louis. You try drinking for good stuff after. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's right. Feel it. We used her as eyeshadow for the next month's performances. We put them in the Just keep making it worse for yourself. Come to me, Francis. Come to me, Francis. Asses. Francis took it to compensate for what God denied you, Francis. <laughs> that joke in between your legs. Come to me. Too slow. You know, that was rather satisfying. I feel better. <laughs> Say that shit about Claudia to my face. Damn straight. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love that. And all my rage and madness exited my body and nothing replaced it. I mean, given that that's kind of how it all went down, I'm genuinely shocked that he didn't end his own life after getting his vengeance. It's my coven of 200 years. Or him. Well, you chose wrong. I will spend my life making it up to you. I would never forgive him. I would never, ever forgive him for that. Does it take a lot out of you? Destroying everything in your wake? No, not really. Feels pretty good. He had a knack for design. Nordic blondes on walls, dirty blondes in piles. Right about where the gremlin stands now. I, don't I love care. how he calls him the gremlin. <laughs> Why you crossed an ocean to rehearse a play? 
that would burn your daughter alive? Louis asks a great question. What fucking law did you ever follow to stop? And I'm not in the moment. <laughs> I don't really feel like dying right now. Sorry. Blood is your blood. Here's your death. Let's start. Is that like the only reason you stayed with Armand just to spite Lestat? Whatever pale proxy of me, I'll be with him. Goddamn. Enjoy you. Yeah, you can tell that really hurts him. I said telepathically. Was it telepathically? And we did. Here, there, everywhere, and You two are sickeningly sweet. I hate it. And that's the end of it. There's nothing else. There's still a lot left in this episode, so I feel like there's something else. It must have been terrible for him to see us off that night. It probably was. You said that Lestat telepathically told you that you were scaring the salesman. A maker can't do that anymore after transformation, right? No, that's true. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he whispered it to me. Time heals, Daniel. I believe he's a DJ now. He DJ. wears a decorative helmet on his head when he performs. Does he? Yeah, it's funny. Are they saying he's like Marshmallow or something? <laughs> oh, well, it, it seems to me, I mean, back to the trial again, it seems to me that there was more than one person in the theater that night who could have saved you. He loved Louis. Lestat would have tried to save him as much as you did. And he certainly would have made it known that he had. Shall we take these follow-ups? I don't know. I, I'm, now I'm following Malloy. I think he might be right. The moment he describes meeting him in New Orleans, these are just some notes along the margins here. Uh, we you did write that fucking play, you lying sack of shit. Where did you get that? And now you rise from your chair and walk towards Claudia. We're the mastermind of the whole thing. And how do you suppose that you will keep her? You have no idea of Claudia's strength. Oh, shit, dude. He directed the play. Of... Uh... So why would he have done this? If... Oh, he didn't. Oh, it was fucking Lestat. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Louis, kill this man. Kill this fucking man. He wanted to kill you. It's a forgery. No, it's not. Sam was their guy in Paris. He gave it to them. They gave it to me here. Stad is a lot of things, but I have a lot more respect for him now. And I feel so fucking correct. So vindicated for hating you this whole time. Well, I finally got my wish. I got to see you get your little ass kicked. At least a little bit. You're not to touch him. Do you understand? When I return, you need to be caught. I'll see there's $10 million wired into your account. No, oh, thanks. No. It would have made such a good book. <laughs> Thank you for the $10 million, but, like, really wanted the book to get published. Oh, is he back in uh, Louisiana? No. You're going back to the start. I'm companion enough for myself now. Yeah, Armand uh, fucking sucks. And I always knew it. I always knew it. Need about 50 more years of practice. Siri, pause. <laughs> Siri. I don't like to point out my virtues. <laughs> Besides, I don't think anyone would have believed him either. I knew you'd figure it out. I'm feeling genuinely bad for Lestat. He really got the raw end of that deal there at the end. Been enduring here? I see. I wanted you to suffer. Because I was. Suffering. We both suffered each other in many ways. Shall we list all the ways we have wronged each other and why it will never be right between monstrous? I came to thank you. Were you there? Yeah. Did you hurt yourself? Oh. I was lost. This is actually gonna make me cry. When I was in a dark way. I can't... I can't get her out of my mind. I can't. I can't. Let's not talk about Claudia. Hey, it's not all you. She looked at me at the end. 
like a child looking to her father. But I was no. This scene is really getting to me. Fictional memoir interview with the vampire, Daniel Malloy. Thanks. Oh, so he did write the book. It's a memoir, it's not fiction. It's trying to go viral with your there we go. dinky little provincial news desk. Oh. Yeah, I did, I did. Inter you took a noble career. Didn't even read it. Put it in the shrine. Didn't read the book. It's a great f read. <laughs> what a delight. Oh, I can't wait to read the book. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I hear a lot of people talking shit. I don't see a lot of action. Do something about it, assholes. Why not send them to your editors at the Talamasco? <laughs> the shit. Wait, how are they communicating like that? Book, I promise. There shouldn't have been a first book. You want the 10 million back? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Give me an address. I'm guessing you haven't heard from my maker. He, uh, No, I shouldn't have left you alone with him. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have. To me. This is the vampire Louis Dulac. So for all you cowards out there talking shit, <laughs> talking about taking a run at me, I own the night. Damn right. That's fucking badass. Oh, is that how they ended? Damn. That was fantastic, dude. That was really, really good. Well, that's that. I'm finally all caught up with everyone. I apologize for being perhaps a little overly emotional or cold during that uh, reaction. I'm currently going through um, a very difficult breakup, so a lot of that stuff uh, hit me pretty hard. But I want to first start with Lestat really really explained to me why people said you know don't be so hard on him he is so much more than you're giving him credit for and after seeing this I do agree um he really is so much more than I gave him credit for I still think that their relationship together was horribly toxic and at times very abusive and very manipulative but now more than ever I want to see Lestat's version of the story like what now, how did it go down in his mind? Even then, I still won't have the full truth, because as people have reminded me countless times, this show has nothing but unreliable narrators. No one can be counted on to give you the full, honest truth. And I mean, that's the case in real life as well. Uh, memory doesn't really work that way. It doesn't give you hard, cold hard facts. It, it is subjective. It changes over time. But knowing that he's the one who saved Louis makes so much sense, uh, given the way he was acting during that whole trial, the fact that Armand gave him up and apparently changed his mind and said, oh, I, I feel bad about it, I actually want to save you. It, there were so many things about that that were just not adding up, and now it makes so much sense. Armand wanted him to die. He directed that whole play with the intention of having Claudia and Louis killed. And only when he didn't die did he, you know, course correct and say, Oh, actually, I saved you and um, I want to be with you forever. And I think the only reason Armand actually stayed with him for those, you know, 77 years was because he knew it was hurting Lestat and he's just that spiteful of a person. I wish we had gotten to kill him, to be perfectly honest. If I were Louis, I would have been like, you were not surviving the night here. Although, that being said, when he did threaten him, uh, you know, if you touch Malloy, I will kill you. I am a little bit like, how do you plan on doing that when Armand is so powerful? So it did feel like slight, slightly an empty threat there. But I don't know, he rocked him pretty good, which, you know, I, at least I got to see that little bit. <laughs> I wanted to see someone kick his ass so bad this whole season, and I got my wish at least a little bit. I also got to see Louis get his uh, revenge on the entire coven. That was wonderful. Really enjoyed <laughs> how um, theatrical that whole event was. Considering how the coven liked to kill their victims, and they love being ultra-theatrical little sassy drama queens the fact that they're all taken out in a similar way loved it absolutely loved it but back to Lestat um I really 
enjoyed the scene when Louis confronts him the first time and he's like, I'm going to be with Armand for the rest of our lives and that will be, you know, the slow death I give you. Or I shouldn't say I like the scene because it's quite horrible, actually. But you could tell that that really hurt him, even if he was kind of playing it off like, oh, you know, good luck, you two. And to me, it proves that their relationship was based off of hate, not out of love. Like, Louis only took him back and decided to be with him just to spite Lestat. And then over the course of time, you know, tried to make it work and convince himself that it was out of love when I don't think it ever really was. And then that final scene with Lestat, oh my gosh, dude, that like... That really got the waterworks going for me. That was really, really tragic. Because it didn't read to me as a let's get back together kind of moment. It just read as a, you know, let's put to bed the things that have haunted us our whole lives. Let's talk about Claudia and how, you know, we let her down and we weren't there for her. And how even though things were so bad between the two of them, it was also good, and Louis actually thanks him for giving him the, this gift, which he always viewed as a curse. It was a beautiful scene, like with the hurricane building in the background, uh, in this run-down, horrible place that Lestat had been holding himself up in. It was a beautiful, beautiful scene, um, and it, it really, really got me. It makes me very excited for the next season, uh, now that I know Lestat is going to be, like, the main, main character. I'm also very glad to hear that they're gonna increase Louis' role, whatever it might be, because I love Jacob Anderson in this role. He does such a fantastic job. And just in general, I really enjoyed how so many moments in this episode, you could just feel tension building and building and building until it kind of crescendoed. Like the scene where Malloy pulls out the original script that reveals the truth about Armand. You can just hear the music, it's like this very slow bit of piano that's just getting louder and louder until it finally explodes as Louis throws Armand into a wall and lets him have it. Or again, the way the hurricane is building during the scene with Lestat and Louis. Or the very final scene where the music is building and building as Louis gives out his threat to the entire vampiric world. It's like, you know, come and get me, motherfuckers. <laughs> I own the night. Like, I love that line as well. That was so good. Honestly, if they never made a season three to this show, I would be okay with this being the end of it. Like that was such a solid, beautiful ending. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm glad there is gonna be a season three. I'm definitely gonna be watching. But again, if this is how they decided to end it, very, very good, very good. Um, I enjoyed this finale immensely. I thought it was an absolutely fantastic episode. I'm actually going to give this episode a 9.4 out of 10. It is my favorite episode of this show. Emotionally, it hits all the right and wrong sort of notes. It feels final. It feels like a true ending to this segment of the story. I think it was beautifully written, beautifully acted, sound design was off the charts. The only real thing I can fault it for were maybe a couple shoddy moments of CGI with um, like the fire in Louis and Armand's hand when they approach Lestat, and perhaps some slight pacing issues, but uh, when I say slight, I mean very slight. So the pacing was quite good here. There were just a few moments where I felt like we slowed down in ways that I don't think were entirely necessary, like a little bit of uh, Louis' journey through New Orleans, I thought was perhaps a bit unnecessary for what we're trying to do here, but not entirely so, so I don't think it was like a, like a waste of time or anything. But regardless, uh, for the show to end its second season on the highest note for me was great. Really, really enjoyed it. I'm almost upset at how hard some of those emotional moments uh, hit for me, but again, uh, based on what's going on in my personal life, it is probably more to do with that than 
the show itself. But again, I'm I'm so, so impressed. I really, really love this show. So happy I started watching it and finally did return to season two because this is just so great. So, so, so good. But that is all she wrote until season three. For now, I'm gonna start watching From on this channel. So if you would like to watch a good little horror show, um, you know, stick around, enjoy it with me. If not, I will see you on that next season. And that's about it.